Hello, welcome to the order management demo. My name is Becky and I work for a Salesforce silver partner called ION. We're based in Gosforth, Newcastle, and we work with customers across the UK. We are specialists in business transformation and Salesforce platform services. Today, we're going to be looking at an order management system in Salesforce. We've built some of these core features so that you can get a sense of how it would function. Of course, this can be manipulated to serve much more complicated ordering systems, but that's the beauty of building on the world's number one CRM platform. We can use order management to keep track of orders coming in and manage the process required to fulfill them. Orders is the standard object in Salesforce and with configuration, it can follow the same stages as your pre-existing process. We're gonna look at adding products to an opportunity, creating an order, a closer look at the order object, and viewing and changing stock statuses. Here we are in Salesforce. We'll start by going into opportunities, which is just along the top here, and find an account that has been marked as closed one. Uh, so, happy oil company. So before I add any products, which I'll do along the right hand side, I'll just show you um, the amount field in details is currently empty. So once we add some products, this will total them up and um, fill it in. So to add a product, I just click add products along the right. Products are the items and services that you sell to customers. Um, so at eye on our products are services such as quick starts, implementations, maybe development hours, training workshops, etc. So we have no physical products, just services. Some businesses will have a combination of products and services, for example, materials and labour, and some will only have products. So we'll select our products. Um, these are just examples. We haven't all of a sudden gone into oil and gas. Um, so I'll use Shemwatt Diesel, 200 kilowatts. I'll do an installation industrial high and a service level agreement bronze. And then we'll just click next. And then this just wants us to fill in the quantities here. We'll just click save. And as you can see, it's added our three line items here and it is totaled up the figure for us. So now we'll just close this opportunity and mark it as one. So to do this, we select the appropriate stage in the process bar, which is closed. And then we'll hit select close stage button and mark it as closed one. And we'll just hit save. When I mark the opportunity as one, Salesforce is now going to create me a new order and add all my line items to it. So I can then click the orders tab to see my new order. So that's just along the top here. And there's my happy oil co order there. So we'll just click the order number we can go in and have a look at our order. So as you can see, there's lots of stages in this process bar. So at the minute the order is sitting at the approved stage, then it will move to packing, dispatch, delivered, installed and complete. These are all um, stages that we've added in them, but they can be customized to suit your process. So in this demo, we manually move orders through the different phases, but it can be integrated into other systems to automate this. So our products that we ordered are here. If we click into details, so this is just an example of some of the custom fields that could be built. So if we scroll down to authorization, we've got our purchase order number that we can just fill in if we click the pencil and edit. There's um, a lookup field where we can search the contacts of the customer and see who authorized it. And the same, but on our side so it can look up our employees and we can pop in who authorized the order. Then as well, we've got a date picker to say when they um, had their installation. This could also be used to track delivery dates. And then we can see who's installed it. So this just searches, um, it could just search the list of people that we have down, marked down as users that are installers and then also the same for QA just showing us the same people there because we don't have the roles defined. So if we just click back into related, we'll have a look at these line items then. So you can see the stock levels. Um, 
the Gemwatt diesel is out of stock. The installation, of course, is in stock because it's an installation. And the service level agreement doesn't have um, a status either way. So, so then if we just click this line item, then we click into the name of the product itself. We can see no stock level. So we'll just edit that and we can mark it as in stock. And then when we go back into our order, it has updated to saying that it's in stock. So obviously we have to change these manually here in this demo, but this could be automated. Um, we could also do things like integrating barcode scanners um, so they were monitored at the warehouse level as well. There we have a quick run through of what an order management system could look like. Order fulfillment can make or break your relationship with a customer. We have high expectations in this day and age. With the automations I've mentioned, information about where their order is at in the process is not only possible, but easy to retrieve. Customer-centric order management will benefit your business. At ION, we are experts in business transformation. We can discuss Salesforce platform service options with you. Please don't hesitate to get in touch for an initial conversation. Thanks very much for watching the demo. I hope you find it useful and it's helped you to visualise how an order management system could look.